it's Tuesday night under under the lights for Willstone versus South End United in a crucial National League fixture. The first for Stone's new manager, the fourth of the season, Sam Cox, who takes over today following the uh, perhaps unsurprising sacking of, of David Noble following Saturday's defeat to Boreham Wood. It's a, it's a blustery, chilly evening here in West London tonight. Cracking turnout from Southend, fans away to our left. Sold their allocation of best part of a thousand out. Fair play to, fair play to you guys for your, for your support. My name's Adam Hills, I'll be your sole commentator tonight. So a bit of a way we'll pass. The Silver's got some space to run into here. He's got Duke, oh, that's gonna be a yellow. <laughs> That's not a red, a few yards further forward, and he that could have been in trouble. But it's a yellow for Jack Bridge. He steps up. Plenty of power, but yeah, sailed harmlessly over the top left corner of uh, ending in the goal. He goes deep, looking for Jack Cook, and there's a volley! And that's a brilliant finish for Benny Duke. And out of nowhere, Willstone have the lead. Brilliant finish for Manny Duku. What a fantastic finish. It was Aaron Henry's corner on the right-hand side, looking for Jack Cook. It hung up around the penalty spot. Duku came around uh, the back post in behind Cook, and he's uh, a little kind of side volley. It's a brilliant finish past uh, Colin Angdeng, indeed. Manny Duku's got a spring in his step now, and he's, he's gone forward to Silver's rather left, left himself in no man's land. And Jack Bridge has got a chance to run at Mason Barrett. All swung in. Oh my goodness me, it was Nathan Ralph, it's a beautiful ball in from Bridge. And Nathan Ralph has headed it back where it's come from and Dewhurst was rooted to the spot but it's just gone past that far post. Kimsdale brings it out, chipped into the card where he does well to recycle into Coco. Nathan Ferguson's there and does well and Taran Alaraki has got an opportunity, he's fine, Duke in space, edge of the box, he strikes, oh it's a good save, out to De Silva, and wastefully fires over giving the fans something to shout about here. That's a searching ball for Waldron. Barker's up there, but it drops to Cardwell. And oh, Gus Scott Morris at the stretch there. He couldn't quite get onto it, and it's a, a tame effort that trickles into a very, very welcoming Marcus Dewhurst. A long throw, looking for the head of Cardwell. Cooks underneath it, the silver half clears, and the shot comes in. That came in from Morton, but it's... Uh, Dragged wide of uh, Marcus Dewhurst's post. The fourth official is just fiddling with his ball down in front of him. He's going to glance. I will go for two. Comes across two, number two, Gus Scott Morris. Space to run into. He's got men forward. He's got Bridge at the back post. He's going for goal. Pushed, off, pushed away from under his bar by Dewhurst. It's a corner away to Jack Bridge. To stand one up, and he, oh, he's picked the run of Nathan Ralph. And that's one one. Another goal that kind of comes out of nowhere, and Stones have conceded a, a goal at a crucial time here. Perhaps a little bit unlucky because the ball ricocheted straight into his path. It's a beautiful finish from uh, Nathan Ralph, drilled it straight across the uh, the face of goal into the far corner, and that's a uh, goal just before half time. As, as the fourth official indeed does put up two minutes of injury time. And that's 1-1. One, one. A bit lively, but fit. And that's a uh, space pass, and Henry's got a bit of space now, and he's got Taran Arrakia out on the left-hand side. What can Taran do against Kensdale? Steps in, and he guides oh. one on! Rolls past the far hand post, and it, and then indeed was rooted to the spot. Very similar to the uh, to the goal that Taran scored at Dagenham and Redbridge earlier this season, where he just opens his body and guides it into that far corner, but he couldn't find the target. And he's going to push it back into Jack Cook, and it's slightly under hit. Drew Hurst, oh my goodness me, oh my goodness me. Oh no. Oh, he's recovered so well. Woo! Held up, Adarka goes down. Picks up. 
Yeah. Yeah. He's caught in possession there. Dylan the Silva goes for goal. Drives at goal. Strikes one really well. Lips straight at Andegan D. For another crossfield pass looking for the Silva. His touch is good. And he turns away from Jack Bridge. What can he get? He's done really well. Skips past Bridge. Can he find a pass? Oh. South End now. Look to bring the full ball forwards here. Looking for the run of Carbwell. He's just skipped in behind Jack Cook. Not many bodies up with them, but Carbwell's done well to recycle. Scott Morris is going to swing another beautiful ball in. Oh, looking for the head of Waldron who in a battle there with Charlie Barker. I think Barker's clash with the post on his way down there. It's, he's probably done just enough to put Waldron off. Right. And just getting a little bit sloppy with the ball there and inviting a bit of pressure on. We've got Wes Fonduk uh, warming up in front of us and Miley steps in. That's a great strike. Brilliant strike from Cal Miley and Southend United have the lead here. Stepped into the midfield and he's cracked a beautiful low drive across Marcus Dewhurst and into that far corner. And a thousand or so Southend fans are celebrating their way to my left. And they turn this around here. Ferguson giving the ball away again. Southend can uh, break here. Fongrick strides forward. He's got Nathan Ralph outside. Stones have got one more sub to make. I'm wondering whether we're going to see Max Kretschmar or whether he's being saved for Thursday. We've got Marcus, uh, Marcus, Micah Obiero and uh, Callum Cisa on the bench as well. I'm surprised to see Obiero maybe give another attack on threat, but another player who's really struggling to form of late this season. It's a good run as, uh, as Cooper steps in. It's a good save by Dewhurst. The ball comes out to Gus Scott Morris. He turns back in, going to stand one up to the back post where Mason Barrett's going to get the ball kind of in the air to Jack Bridge. will keep the ball alive. Stood up. Well, it's Cardwell, sorry, that kept the ball alive. And Bridge dig the ball in, but it's, uh, it's floated out harmlessly at the back post. Goes into, I'm just looking for Kretschmar and cycles well. He's got Alarakia, uh, uh, sorry, the silver out wide. And you get a ball in. Can it goes looking for Mason Barrett, who does well. And it drops, and there's Kretschmar! Finish it! Oh, he's missed it! It's a brilliant save by Colin Andeng and D. That's the chance. Stones on the ascendancy in these, uh, these nine minutes. Jack Cook has joined Sean Dark for up front here. They've had their chance. Can they fashion one more? Into Kretschmar, back out to Young. Mason Barrett makes his way around the back. Finds Alarakia. Touch takes him wide. Looks for Mason Barrett, who does very well. Yeah, the dark has come out now. What can Mason Barrett do? Need some support. The dark does really well. Sends in the cross! Oh, and Andy indeed pushes it wide. Kept it in the far post, and the Silver's going to. No, he's overhit it. Oh, and the dark challenges, and that's going to be a corner. To take, beat the first man. Marcus Dewhurst is forward. In it goes. Oh, and it comes back out to Henry, who's never a chance. Someone get around the back stick. Henry checks in. Oh, he cuts across. Goal! Oh, he's in the post! Oh my goodness me. Aaron Henry across to take it. Find the ball, beat the first man. Stay onside. And it goes. Header comes on and it loops over the bar for a goal kick. As we entered the uh, as we entered the nine minutes of injury time here, draw two, two say two very good saves by Cullen and ending indeed, but he's got to take it. And Aaron Henry, of course, cracked the outside of the post, and that indeed is the final whistle. And it's finished here at Grover Bell, Willstone one, South End United two.
it's going to be a case of what if Wilstone they've huffed and puffed and after a very slow start they've grown into the game uh, and despite really being second best second half they didn't take the lead South End leveled on the break uh, with, with a crisp drive from Nathan Ralph uh, and then in the second half that Stones have enjoyed a large lion's share of the possession and, and arguably the better chances is a, a fantastic strike from Cav Miley uh, on the hour that's given Southend three points here.